Well, good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. It is a beautiful day today. It is really a nice day. It was 70, like 69 or 70 this morning and I got out in mowed yard at 7.30 and finished at 11 and still wasn't hot. So, we are out in the yard today with Stella's kids. So, one of them has had a haircut and it's really all two of them. Super easy to tell who's had the air haircut. You can see their collars. Uh, the little chocolate merle party with the green collar. I know you want it completely shaved, except for eyebrows and face. And I'm not going to do that until the week that it's going to go home because it's going to grow out again and I have to give it a second haircut. So we're going to hold off on that haircut. But the little neon pink collar was done with the black and white party that's a try. And we did the blue merle over here. So wait till she's up moving. Now don't say he or she, I know. Wait till it's up and moving around and you'll be able to really see the coloring on this puppy's back. So Vanessa is off today. It's just, Brittany was here this morning. She left at noon. It, and Allie and I are here this afternoon. She's helping me out till 2.30. So let's go ahead and let's get started on weights and we'll give you collar colors and microchip numbers. So 9905 is the male with the neon orange and that is the one, let me show you the color. Look at the color when I gave it a haircut. It is phenomenal. I love, love, love the colors on them when they've had a cut, especially the Merles. All right, so he is four pounds, 7.5. Then you have 9906. She's the female out here with the neon pink collar. And she's this little stinker right here. You can really see the collar with the haircut. And I gave her a short haircut, but look at her butt. She has this bullseye. See the bullseye? <laughs> when you get her shaved off, she's got a round little spot with her tail that makes a bullseye. She is two pounds, 10 ounces. All right, um, there's two in here that are available, and I guess I should have started with them first, but I didn't, you know, it's just just me. I go down the list and forget to look. So she's got notes. 9907 is available, and it is a purple collar, and we will find it here in a second. It's right here below me. This black and white party uh, female, she just backed up on me right there getting ready to go under the bed with her butt up in the air. That one is available. She is also a try. She's got brown eyebrows. I have not cut her hair yet, so it's not as easy to see her brown on her cheeks and stuff. But she is available and she's playing with that hot pink toy back there, a raspberry color toy. She's three pounds, 15 ounces. The other one that's available out here is the royal blue collar right here underneath me. It's the, don't let me say that too quickly. I think it's the Merle. I'm 99% sure, but I can't see the collar color. Yep, it's the blue Merle party. He's back here in the back. Whoops, I went the wrong way with that. So that's the blue Merle party with his butt towards us. He is available and he is five pounds, 0 0.5 ounces. All right, and the rest of these, of course, are sold. There's just the two that are still available. 9908 is a male with a light blue collar, like a turquoise collar. And um, he's the black pup back here in the back, chewing on the toy. And he's three pounds, 13 ounces. The next one is a female, 9904. She has the neon green collar on, and I'm pretty sure it's the the chocolate merle party yep this is the one that's going to get the complete haircut except for eyes and uh, muzzle so we'll leave eyebrows and muzzle on that puppy and she is three pounds 15 ounces then the last one out here is 9901 it's the chocolate pup and all you can see is his butt he's going under the bed he has the yellow collar on he is four pounds four point there he got a good yellow picture of that yellow collar he has four pounds, 4.5. All right, so if anybody else wants a haircut, make sure you text me and put just the words, 
haircut. If I don't hear from you, I'm not touching them. I've done that once and got in trouble. So, um, the other thing, I know they look like Flippo the Clown with these big fuzzy ears. But if you're not going to have them, whoop, if you're not going to have them cropped by your vet, do not cut that hair off till they're at least 9 to 12 months old. And I would go 10 to 11 if it were me. Um, if you cut the hair off their ears or your groomer shaves them, they will have a tendency to stand up either halfway up like the Flying Nun, if you're old enough to remember the Flying Nun movies. If not, look it up on YouTube. Anyway, it looks like her hat sticking out halfway. If you are really unlucky, they're going to stand straight up in the air like a jackrabbit. Schnauzers have a huge tendency to do that. So, I'm just saying, if you want the ears to stay down, don't cut the hair off. Even though they're going to look like Flippo the Clown. If you want to know what that's going to look like at almost a year old, go on the website. Go to the parents page and looks at take a look at Chap's ears. I have not put a picture of him on there because I forgot to this summer before I shaved him to the skin. He has so much hair. It was so hot on him and he likes to play in the water once in a while. So I cut every bit of his hair off, including his ears. And they lay down perfectly flat. And you can tell this little blue Merle party that's still available, when he stands up and runs around, his ears are laying flat on his head. If you look at the blue Merle, I'm going to well, he's got his head down. See how those are up a little bit? They will have a tendency to come right on up. So, uh, the other trick to ears with a schnauzer, if you also want to, take a vitamin E tablet, break it in half, which they're a, a jelly, and rub that vitamin E underneath on the underneath side of his ears, and then crease it down at night with your fingers when you are rubbing him or petting him on the couch. Just kind of encourage that fold where they're folding to go right on down and stay folded. So that's my trick of the day for you on that. Oh, finally, the air conditioner shut off. Now it's quiet. Now you can hear the birds. Okay, that's much better. Um, these guys are doing phenomenal. They are totally in the house with us. And, oh no, they're not. Not these guys. I keep thinking these are the other litter, uh, Libby's litter, and they're not. They're Stella's. Totally different. These are schnauzers. Uh, they're going to come up with us this week and come in the house. So uh, we have been taking her away from them, but we are a full house right now until after Saturday, and then pretty much all of Judy's kids will be gone, and then it's the next litter's turn to come to the house. So it uh, makes a huge difference when they're not with their mom. They've never seen a Corunda bed, so I thought I'd stick it out here. There's been one go up on it so far. It was the chocolate or the blue Merle. So a Corunda bed, before I get lots of emails, I don't know how you spell it, but I, you know, I would just type K-R-U-N-D-A dog bed. Even if it's not the right spelling, it will pop it up. I have had these beds for probably six to eight years. I have never changed the covers. I've left a few out in the snow all winter long, leaned up against the tree. Yes, they've molded. I sprayed them off in the spring, washed them. They look like brand new. The dogs cannot chew them up. I have my adults sleep on these. We have puppies use them. Puppies love them because they become a source of king of the mountain, hide and go seek. The bad thing is they'll grab somebody's tail if it's sticking out and then they pull on it and then the dog can't get back out to him to get him so lots of times we hear somebody squealing and somebody else has got it underneath the bed pulling on its tail so but corunda beds are really nice uh, they can't dig them they can't chew them they can't do anything to them they do make different colors so uh, this is kind of their industrial color they have this in green and in blue but they make them that have um, Oh, like kind of like your lawn furniture it lets air go through oh there's the black one going up so once somebody usually experiments and finds out how to do it it and, they, and we've never put them on it yet it becomes a source of fun for them to play with but they're not really they're so busy this morning out here playing they're not really paying any attention to it 
If you need dog food when you come and you want to stay on what we're on, I'll be glad to sell you a bag of dog food. Um, if you want to find something in your area that's easy for you to get, because my dog food is not going to be easy to get, um, we give you about a three pound bag and sometimes between three and five depends on who fills them. And I would suggest looking for something that's a 30, a 30, 20, 30 protein, 20 fat, or a 32 protein, 20 fat. And if you have an older dog, don't let them eat that high of protein. It's not good for their kidneys. Um, but for puppies, it's great for their metabolism because they, they're on the move all the time. So it does make a huge difference as to what you feed them. Um, it does not have to have the word puppy on the bag. The word puppy is a gimmick. And there's lots of dog foods that are a, a 32, 20 or a 20, 30. And all of our adult dogs, once they reach 11 months or 12 months, we switch them down to about a 26 protein and an 18 fat. And that's where they stay the whole time they're with us. Um, we never, ever change dog foods unless there's a recall or some reason that we're forced to cut, you know, to change dog foods. So... If you have any questions or you're interested in either one of the two of these that are still available, you are more than welcome to give me a call. Um, this litter should weigh in, um, oh, let's see, you're probably somewhere between 16 and 19 pounds. I would say that the Blue Merle Party male is probably going to be a 17, 18 pound dog. The rest of these guys, you're probably not going to go that high. You'll probably be between 16 and 17 pounds. A normal mini. Um, Brooks Litter still has one puppy that's available that is a larger mini. She is a quarter standard schnauzer. And so her she's 30 pounds. And she's bred to chaps. And he's 24 pounds. So you will be bigger on that litter. You'll probably be that last puppy is a male that's still available. And you'll probably be in that 25 to 30 pound range on him since it's a male. So, well, I hope you've enjoyed their video. Um, I really thought somebody would start using the little tyke, but nobody's thought about it. They're too busy playing. This is a pretty calm litter, which I'm really shocked. Give it another week and it won't be calm. But uh, they are fun. Stella's a really good dog, and we have always <laughs> episodes like hi oh, Silver. Um, she's not an arguer. Um, most Schnauzers are snotty because they're a terrier. So when you put them in a group to play, Schnauzers are usually snottier than a Snoodle. Um, but that's a terrier. Uh, Schnauzers are 100% pure terrier. And they're busy. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here. I got one more litter to do today, and then I'm caught up on everybody for the week. And I did take pictures of these guys. I'm going to try, oh, ran right into that with your nose. That hurt. Um, I'm going to try and take some pictures today of these guys so that, well, I know, I'm sorry, I took pictures. I'm going to try and get the pictures on the website today because I noticed that you were really lacking in pictures on the website. So we have some current ones I took yesterday. Have a great day. Have a blessed week. Enjoy the nice weather today. And tomorrow, it sounds like this weekend is going to be phenomenal. A phenomenal weekend. I'm going to plant flowers. I've got more hostas I'm moving. So, have a good time. Be careful. Call me if you have questions. Call me if you want to book in for your pickup time. And we'll talk to you later. Oh, we got somebody thinking about the little tie. Maybe. Let's see if he goes on over. No, he's going to play with the toys. Okay. All right. We're out of here. See ya.